Hey guys, welcome back to Kaylee's Weekly Bible Lessons. I hope you all are doing well and having a great, a great, great week. Um, welcome to another video. Um, <clears throat> my last two videos have been pretty different from what I've been doing with my channel so far. So I hope you all have just been enjoying everything I'm doing. I'm thinking of doing a giveaway. Um, I think I want to give away like a Bible and a journal and maybe some highlighters. So I'm still thinking on everything. Nothing is finalized, but comment down below if you all like that idea. But today's video is going to be going, we're going back to Romans. The last time I went from Romans, um, uh, I didn't finish my Romans 4 notes. So we're going to get into that. I might possibly get into Romans 5 notes today. It just depends on how the video flows. <clears throat> but we'll see. But um, before we start, let's get into some, to some prayer and get in a mindset. Get in a godly and spiritual mindset that, so that we can receive what God has for us today. And maybe he's telling you something and you need to share it with others. Because sometimes God will tell you something not just for your benefit, but for someone else's benefit. <clears throat> Let's pray. Dear Heavenly Father, we just want to say thank you. We just want to say thank you for being such a good God. Allow us to remember who you are in our lives daily. And when we have, even when we have obstacles, even when we go through trials and tribulations, even through all of the circumstances, allow us to always remember that you are above all. You are above everything. And we praise you because we love you. And you love us, God. Allow us to be a light. A light in this dark, dark, dark world, God. Allow us to remember that whatever we receive is not just for us to receive. But it's also for others to receive as well. Allow us to be light in our school. Everywhere we go, allow, to, allow us to have that sweet, sweet aroma of that we have God in us and that we have God around us daily. Allow others to come up to us and ask us, why do you act that, that way? And then we can say, it's because I have God in me. Allow others to know that because people should know. People should know who I am. But here's the thing. Allow us not to only remember that not others, not only should others know where we stand, we have to know where we stand. So allow this video to be a help to someone who's lost and allow those who are watching to feel a connection with the words that come in my mouth and allow them to be able to share this video with others so that they can not only be a light, those others can also receive that light. In Jesus' name, I pray. Amen. Whew, amen. It felt so good to pray, you know? <laughs> it always feels so, so good to pray. Thank, thank you, Lord. Thank, thank you, Lord. All right. Let's get into this video. All right. I'm going to hit my first point for today. So, hope y'all are ready. God turns nobody into somebody. Yes, yes. Okay, basically, that's what this point is saying. Without God, I am nobody because God is somebody, but if he's not in me, I'm nobody. I can't be a help. I can't be a light because I don't have that power in me. Without God, I am powerless. Without God, you are powerless. But with him in us, we can be a somebody. We can have power and we can be a light. We don't have to live in darkness. We don't have to live in the enemy's ways of the world. So last night I was on um, this Zoom call. It's called Tribes. It was my previous church and I still get on with the previous youth group that I was a part of. And we were talking about when the enemy knocks. And this just reminds me that when the enemy knocks at our door, when he knocks, 
he's trying to tell you that you are a nobody, that you can, you can do things without God, you know, that you can be somebody without God, but that's not true. And you know why that's not true? Because God is the only one with power. He sent his only son to die on the cross for your sins, to pay for your wrongdoings. The de all the devil wants to do is remind you of all of the bad things that you've done in life. But you know what God will do? He will, yes, he will remind you and he will tell you sometimes. Yes, Kaylee, or yes, whoever, you did do something wrong. You did do that wrong. But he will tell you who you are and tell you a way that you can fix that and tell you that, you know, you did that wrong, Kaylee. You know, you did that. But you know what? You get the opportunity to fix that mistake that you made, you know? And that's why God is so, so good because he allows us not only to get things right, but he allows us to acknowledge what we do wrong. That's really good. All right. My next point will be, we have to live on what God says, not on what we think we want to happen in our future. Uh, I'm gonna say that again. We have to live on what God says, not on what we think we want to happen in the future that's basically saying we can't live on what we think we should have we're supposed to live on what what God wants us to have we can't live in the past we can't live on what we think is right for our lives we have to think on what does God want for me what does God want for you right now in this season you can't think about okay so this is what I want for my life this is what I need this is what that's what you think you need you don't need that you don't need social media. You don't need Netflix. All you need is what God wants for your life and he, what he wants for your future. He wants your future to be pers purposeful. He wants it to be joyful. He wants it to be filled with happiness. But it will not be like that if you only want what you want, you know? You can't just want what you want. You have to think about how will this action or how will this step in my life affect others now that, that's what god thinks about before he makes a decision in our life in our life but here's the thing he already had your life all planned out so you don't have to be worried or you don't have to think man in high school when i graduate what am i gonna do or what am i gonna do what what college am i gonna go to you know stuff like that you don't have to worry about that because God's already got it all planned out. So don't think about what you want, but think about what God wants for your life. The sacrifice Jesus made set us right with God. Yes, we talked about this before, how right equals righteous. Like I was saying, without God, we are a nobody. Without God, you are a nobody. But with God, you can be a somebody. With God, you can be righteous. You don't have to be afraid. Don't be afraid because God is with you. You don't have to worry about your future. You don't even have to worry about your past. You just have to know that God is in front of you, on the sides of you, and he is behind you and he will always be with you. So don't worry about your future because God's already got it planned. And always know that with God, with the, with the sacrifice that Jesus made on the cross. You know, Jesus could have hopped off, right? He could have just hopped off the cross if he wanted to. Because he is God. But here's the thing. He knew that if he didn't stay on that cross, that, that we would have had to stay nobodies. We wouldn't get to be right with God. We wouldn't get the opportunity to be free. But with God, everything is possible. Nothing is impossible with him. Yeah, that's really important that we have to remember. With God, everything is possible. The impossible that you think is impossible is possible for your life. I don't know if you're a graduate watching or you're just in middle school or high school or you're graduating high school or even graduating college. Don't worry about your future because God, God had planned out. And if you trust in God and if you have faith in God you will have the most the most purposeful life you will ever live on earth because you live on earth once 
but your soul gets to go to heaven when you accept not just who you are, but then you accept who God is in your life. God blesses us when we are in the low places, not just in the high places. That is so good. God blesses us when we are in the low places, not just in the high places. God, he's just so good. Even when you're in the lowest places of your life, when you're down here, he's up here. He's going to still be there for you. I know it. When you're in those low places, you'll be like, God, you know, where you at? You know? But I know you can feel like when you're up here, you're like, thank you, Lord. So when you're on top of everything, you're like, thank you, God. You know, I see you working and stuff. But when you're down here, you're like, uh, God, that's him testing your faith. Because here's the thing, if you really trust in God, then you'll trust him even when you're going through things. You'll be able to praise him through your situations. That's how God knows that you truly do trust in him and that you truly do believe in him. Because, man, I go through temptation. I go through struggles every single day. And guess what? That's because God is testing my faith daily to see, does Kaylee... Does she really believe in me? Does she really trust in me? And that's what God will do to you daily. So you always have to remember that I'm not in this low place because God necessarily wants me to be here. You're in that low place because he's testing you, because he loves you, because he knows. If you can praise him through the situation, then you truly do trust and believe in him. When there is no word of God, there is no breakthrough. That's really good. When there is no word of God, there is no breakthrough. If Jesus didn't die, he is the word. If the word didn't die, if he didn't die, there would be no breakthrough. No breakthrough. When you get in those low places, you wouldn't be able to pray through it because there wouldn't be no word. There would be no guidance. And there, would no be, there would be no help. Because the word is your help and the word is your light. So without the light, there's only darkness, you know? So we always have to remember that without the word, there is nothing. There's no breakthrough. There's no hope. There's no trust. There's no faith. So that's why you have to get into your word daily. Because you have to know who you are. You have to know who you are and what your worth is get into your word daily and i promise you you will find out exactly who you are and exactly who god says you are because only his opinion matters like i've talked about before you can't trust in your own opinion i deal with this all the time i'm so picky on myself but yes god is still going to be on you but what god says it's truthful. What God says is truthful. I know what he can say to us sometimes. It can hurt sometimes, you know? It can hurt sometimes. But it hurts because we know it's true. See, when things come from God and when things come from people, it's different. Because we're supposed to go to God and not people from things. Yes, sometimes we can... We will definitely be hurt when we go to people from for things sometimes. But when we go to God, we might feel a little sting. But it's for your good. It's for your good. Oh, I've enjoyed this so much today. I am going to do one more point and I'm going to close this out right here. We are strengthened in faith when we know the blessings of God's promises. We are strengthened in faith when we know the blessings of God's promises i know sometimes you can feel like god doesn't have a purpose or a promise for your life but i promise you i promise you he does even if it doesn't seem like it he is he does he's already planned out your life he already has everything written but you when you what you when when you follow your own path what you think when you follow what you think you should have and what your future should look like that will lead you to the path of destruction. You want to go right, right? You want to go this way. Why are you going this way? Why are you going for people to things that you were supposed to go to God 
about. You're supposed to go to God. Don't go to the flesh. Don't go to the world. Don't go to these humans that don't know who God is. Also, we also talked about something last night on my Zoom call. I know it can be hard knowing that some of your friends, you know, that don't believe in God, they will not go to heaven. And I will tell you that. It's hard to say. But if you do not believe in the true and living God, you will not go to heaven. I'm going to be really, really straightforward. Just like Jesus always is. Just like he is. But um, this is why we share God's word. And this is why I have to tell you these things. Because, cause man, I want the best for you. God wants the best for you. So if you don't hear these things, then you won't be able to go to the path that God meant for you to go on. Go on the path of righteousness. Go on the path of hope, peace, happiness, joy, daily happiness, daily peace, and daily joy is what God wants you to have. But if you go on the path of what you want, that's not where you're going to go. That's not, that's not where you're going to go. Okay, y'all, so, whoo, today, today, today was good. Today was really, really good. Let's all just take a deep breath and soak that all in. I just want to say that I never want to say anything that will hurt anyone, but I will say things that I do know is true and I will preach the gospel because I know it's true and that I know that the only way to success is by following God's path for your life and not following what you think you should have because what you think you should have is not what God has for your life because what you have I promise you what you think you should have does not even compare to all that God has for your life. Because he has so much more for you than you think that you should have. You're worth so much more than you think you are worth. You're so much more. You're so much more. So choose your friends wisely. Talk to people who you know will lead you in the right path. Go to people who you know trust you and trust in God. Because he is the only one who can satisfy. Out of all of the worldly things, out of all the things, when God, when Jesus came on earth, everything stops. When, when God comes in the mist, it's like a pause to everything else. And it's like a calmness because it's all about Jesus. It's all about Jesus. This is all about Jesus. So what I want you to remember today is don't go in the path of your life that you think you should have, but go in the path that God has for your life. Because God has so much more for you than you think or that you deserve, that you think that you deserve. But I'm going to close out right here. But make sure you like, subscribe, or turn on those post notifications so you can be notified every single time I post something new. I love you all so, so much. Please go share this video. Share it with your friends. Have a blessed day and a blessed week.